weekly reading for January 29th through February 4th, 2018 for the water signs. This is for you, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So I'm Tracy, and I come here weekly to give you guidance and support through my um, spirit guide, White Hawk. He's a medicine man uh, in a past life. And I was his granddaughter in a past life. And so we've come together in this life to bring insight, support, and guidance to, um, to the people of Earth. And the way I've chosen to break it down is um, through the air, earth, water, and fire element of the zodiac because it gives a little more of a focused reading. Although I have to say, with uh, I just did the air and the earth readings and... Uh, uh, I'm curious to see what it's going to be for you guys, because um, it was sort of similar for air and earth. Okay, so let's go see what's at play for the water signs in this upcoming week. All right, so I just do this. Sorry. <sighs> I just do this to relax and just sort of clear from the last reading I just had too. Indeed, little one to begin. It's not so much that it will be a bad week or a horrible week or a a tumultuous week as much as it will be a interesting week a week where things are at play however they're not at play in a way where we would have given choice to Things are at play in a way that we much more would have preferred to have avoided. However, here we are, and now we are presented with a situation where we can choose to go under, go over, go around or to go through. And if I were you, I would choose to go through it. Because the fastest way through anything is simply to go through it. Because just simply trying to avoid something or make nice about something, well, it just makes it mm, more arduous more difficult, more challenging to get through. And since we're here about learning how to flow with the energies and also not to fear what is being presented in front of us, for often, in fact, you'll find that um, when presented with a situation that is very frightening, whether it creates inflammation, in a relationship or within our body, um, you know, the fear of what m may come is always there. And so let me come here and let me allay your fears that you will always get through it. It may not look and feel as you had wished it would have looked. However, you will come through it. And there are always challenges but there are always lessons on the other side when you do come through it. And coming through it makes you a bigger, brighter star than you already are. So be blessed, children, with this newfound knowledge that I am providing to you here today. Go through it. Hmm. Well, there you have it, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Um, you know, 
sometimes we're presented with a choice we're not happy with and certainly it wouldn't have been a choice that we would have made or um you know we certainly didn't see our lives going that way but uh we have to move with it move through it we can't get stuck in it or not let go of the situation because sometimes holding on to it isn't good for us either that causes um well, one, that causes a block in energy and it causes, therefore causing a block in the flow of your own personal life. So we have to learn to move through things and let them move through us. When I do that, I mean like move through your body because if we hold on to it, then if we're holding on to something that creates a lot of fear, one, we may not breathe and then two, that creates the, the chest area to... to um, seize up right and all of a sudden you're you're not breathing and all of a sudden it's hard to start you can't breathe and you feel like someone's sitting on your chest and and so you're not breathing well and then and next thing you know you end up with uh, a chest cold or something because um, there was a block in that area and that allowed for your immune system to break down and then for a virus to take hold so it's very important to move through energy and to you know to heal to heal whatever the situation the the more often we can do it in the present day the better than to allow it to just sit in our body in our cells wherever it's gonna deposit itself and then later on in life or even right away it can cause some sort of illness or injury so let go, my children, move through it and uh, see where you end up on the other side of this week and then uh, check back next week and let's see uh, what White Hawk has in store for us for the following week. So thank you for joining me. If you uh, enjoyed what you've seen here, give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and join me on my other social media, Twitter, and Twitter Instagram, and Facebook. Until then, God bless.